Y'all good? Hello, and welcome to the second episode of Hilux testing. Are Hiluxes as durable as Top Gear says they are? Today, we find out. Will they handle a roll and drive just fine afterwards? We'll find that out in a second. Can you actually drop them from the top of a building? We don't find that out today, but we find some other things out. Last time we did some normal average tests that you would do every day. That's what we're gonna do again today. So I simulated the average car wreck. We'll see what, can a Hilux handle a normal average a little more, little more than average car wreck. And uh, we're also gonna see how they tow with a gooseneck, an empty, unloaded, completely unloaded gooseneck. Can you float me back over? Yeah, maybe. Slightly violent. Purrs like a kitten. Oh yeah. It literally starts like first crank still like, like nothing yep. at all. Oh it yeah. Really like this protected the whole back. If I had a roll bar up there, this would all be fine. Yeah. So the window shattered? Oh yeah, this shattered right in my face. Uh, did you just open the door? Bro. It's self-healing. No way. <laughs> Door still work. Next test. Uh, what we have here is a 32 foot low trail gooseneck. It's actually my favorite gooseneck I've ever had. I've only ever had one, but. Easy, easy. The truck is just now level. Yeah, it didn't. Can't tell his weight on. Oh no! Wait, no way, Look. There you go. <laughs> it was meant to be. All right, let's pull the skid loader up onto it. Ah. Do I have enough tongue weight, or do I need to pull? I can pull forward a little more. Yeah, you should pull forward more. Oh, yeah. it's barely, I'm barely, I barely have weight on the axle. Yeah, you're barely squatting. That's not supposed to do that. What? That's not supposed oh. to do that. Oh. The hole. We'll pull this on there. So we're looking at something around 30,000 pounds, which is what my hitch is rated for. So it should be good. This is my, this is my daily, okay? Keep coming. Whoa. Now I have a, a light. 30,000 pounds loaded up on the gooseneck for the Hilux to pull. That's a lot. Any bets? Any bets? Anyone? Anyone? No one, No objections? I think it'll pull it. This is an eighth ton pickup <laughs> pulling 30,000 30. pounds. Here we go. I told you to pull it. Like it's no nothing. Way, no way. It's show that. Show that. No problems, man. What the heck? What? Dude, me? this no looks ridiculous. Way. No way. Hey, I told you it pull it just fine. Dude, it's pulling like it's nothing. Guys, I'm barely on the throttle at all. I'm I'm in four low, first gear. Dude, this thing is like a champ.
I thought I seen it all. I was like, we see a lot. You know, we, we I see a lot doing this. I didn't think this would happen. It's pulling it easily. I, I shifted into second gear going uphill. I was in second gear. Yeah, I told you to do it. That's 30,000 pounds. Your tires With, with kinda... no air. Dude, this is flat. This is a flat tire. What is this? Like, what? Like I was, I was dragging the jacks too. I was dragging the jacks on the ground going around here. Yeah. I still had room for all the haters' moms in this truck, and it still would have hauled it. Yep. I don't know. That's a lot of weight. Ooh. Listen, I get a lot of DMs. People. Maybe I've said this too much. People think that I literally don't care about any truck whatsoever. It doesn't matter what it is if I own it. And then they're like, I saw your stuff and I went out and I took my my only my daily driver and I just wrecked it the next day. Like, who gives a crap? But thank you so much for teaching me that. It's like, bro, that's like your only dude. You need that to get around with. So like, I still have things that I use to like, I still need to get around and go to town. Like, I, I, I don't just like total everything I own. So if, like, don't list, list like, like, you know, don't be materialistic, but you can't, don't just go out and total your daily driver. Like, it's not a good idea. But have fun, you know? I... Did that do any damage whatsoever? We kind of bent the bed a little bit. Oh my God, dude. There's literally nothing. Nothing. Literally nothing. Literally nothing. Nothing. That's dead straight. Nothing. The leaves aren't bent. This thing is it's literally going exactly how it went on top gear you know like they had a mechanic but we don't even like like not we haven't touched anything nothing has gone wrong nothing at all like we pulled a stick out of the grill and that was it that, that channel that. is uh 22 plankster he does anyways um he's a toyota enthusiast i am he loves toyotas very much and when i mentioned what we're doing well when i mentioned i bought one he's like wow congrats that's my dream truck thought what better thing to do than to invite him over so that he could enjoy it while personally destroying it himself. <laughs> Come on, I didn't agree on that. Um, Why are you putting your seatbelt on? You're, you're not gonna go. I did already. You, you're, oh my goodness. How'd that feel? My hat flew out the window. <laughs> that was a little harder that time. <laughs> Big boy. Tug of war, Hilux versus the Raptor. Smell clutch, big oh, time, no. man. I was popping the clutch, trying to get. <laughs> I like fall back for a little bit. I found a flaw. Why is the hood bend this easy? Look at this. Maybe I don't know. Maybe because you were running into stuff at like 30 miles an hour. Look. That's okay. Listen. Look. I shouldn't be able to do that. Listen. I shouldn't be able to do that. I, I folded the hood by hand with like one hand. You have to admit that's a piece of crap. You have to admit that's not very quality. That's the only thing though so far. That's well, we just drove uh, probably 15 minutes with no coolant whatsoever, nothing flowing through. And it is, it's, cool. I think, I feel like that'd be a common scenario. Oh, Wait, yeah, that's, that's hot too. That's quite toasty. Oh my God. Oh, oh, too bad I don't have a river to drive into. I would have just driven into a river. Yeah. 
Oh, look who it is. Look who wants to stop by. Squatted boy. Yeah, drive by again. Listen to that thing Freaking clap. Weirdo. Sounded like their mom last night at Taco Bell. We kind of maxed out what we can do here. Um, it's getting shipped to Utah next week for some things that I've had planned for a while. But um, until then, this is, you know, what I thought. So we tested out the interior last time. And under normal average use of an insane five-year-old, it, it held up. So now we're going to do a level two interior test, okay? We're going to up the aggression like 10 notches, okay? Okay, that, that went, that went that away. That felt like fast. a mile down inside the dash. With, okay, that was just nothing. Fell off. Okay, those could be a little more. Those could be like glued on or something at least. Like, we already tested out this, buddy. Okay, I didn't, okay. Okay, today is when we find, oh. oh. Today is when we find all the flaws. Oh, mirror adjustment. What? What? How is it? I flipped it. How is it on, doing that? I flipped it. Oh, okay, I flipped it on that mirror and it still adjusts. Are yeah, you kidding you can, me? I gave this thing a break last time too. I was remember I stopped. I paused. I was like, no, that'll break. Okay. Yeah, yeah that came right off. That came right off. Yep. Won't need that. Um, this has been Hilux test number two, uh, with slightly more than realistic, you know, slightly unrealistic tests but still things that would happen. Guys, three is coming up rapidly and you could see the exponential. We started with just closing the door, okay? I'm working my way out. I'm not just, I didn't run over with a bulldozer. Look, and it's still fine. There's nothing wrong with it. The AC literally still works. So I have these shirts, not a merch plug. It's just, I'm talking about the shirt that I'm wearing. That uh, sounds like a merch plug no, to me. I'm, I'm describing sounds the like shirt. A... I'm just describing it. It's also red. And it's at the link in my Instagram bio if you want.